Why does your phone actually get slower from year to year? Even if you're careful with it, it's bound to happen. And I don't want anyone saying, oh, it's just wear and tear in the comments. That's boring. Boring answer. I don't want to hear that. So here's some more uncommon answers that I found as to why your phone actually gets slower from year to year. First of all, while your phone stays the same age, year to year, the new software updates that your phone is getting is made for newer and newer phones. And sadly, older chips just can't keep up with the extra features and the fancy animations that new iOS systems bring and other operating systems. And even more sadly, the apps that you love keep getting bigger. More apps more tracking, more hidden processes that are hogging up your RAM, more features in the game that requires more processing power. Like I just started playing Clash Royale again recently. They added evolutions. I don't even know what half of them do yet. There's so many new things in this game. They got rid of chests and just loot boxes. Now are you kidding? Then obviously the more you use your phone, it's inevitable that your storage is going to end up becoming pretty much fuller, if not very close to full. And when your phone storage is almost full, your phone slows down quite a bit, mainly because the flash memory works way less effectively than it used to. A kind of obvious one, heat is obviously a killer of phones. As your phone ages, it can overheat a lot quicker than it used to. And because of that, it slows itself down to protect the hardware. So as your battery gets older and older, it can heat up a lot easier. It also can't deliver enough power, which forces your phone to throttle performance so it doesn't shut off. Your six-year-old phone that you're trying to hold on to and squeeze the last little bit of life out of is fighting a lot of battles right now. You should cut it a little bit of slack. It is fighting for its life.